Hey everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to use the mouse as a controller axis. Let's say we bind our mouse to the right stick on the controller. Now we can use our mouse to look around in a game where it requires a controller to play. I currently don't have a controller in the game, so I'm just going to go with my favorite FPS game. So first, I'll show you the game using my controller. See, I use my right stick to look around. Now I'm gonna install a virtual controller using the software called Virtual Controller and use the mouse as its right stick. If you don't have virtual controller installed, download it from the link in the description and reinstall it right away. But do not install it to C drive. If you did, you will not be able to plug the virtual controller in. So I have it open and this is what it looks like. I actually did a tutorial on this before but it's an outdated version of virtual controller. Anyway, let's just get to the topic. First, you gotta plug in the virtual controller. To do this, you'll need to go to settings and then IO devices. Now go to virtual tab and then setup. Finally select VXbox, make sure you enable this and click install. Restart and finally go to configure it. Select VXbox one and click plugin. Now the second step, enable mouse input. Here you go to physical tab, select setup and then mouse. Finally check this box and it'll enable mouse controls. We are almost done. Now the third step is binding the mouse. Go to settings and select controls. Click tools over here and then quick binding. I'll bind the mouse to the right stick. So find right stick. Before we bind, just know what these axes are. It's like a graph. X plus is right, X minus is left, A Y plus is up and Y minus is down. So this is right. Now click assign and carefully move your mouse to the right. Do this a couple of times to confirm you did this correctly. Or it'll assign right axis to go down or up by mistake. Do the others just like that. And I'm done. This is how it looks like. See how this differs from each other? It's not mistaken or anything, it's just normal. Your mouse might have different axes, it depends on the mouse. Now close it. Let's press run. I have a little program which can track controls. Now I'm gonna use it to show you how this works. As you can see it works pretty much well. Now we gotta try playing a game. I'll run Battlefield 1 to try this. For that, I'll quickly bind some keys to move and other stuff. Alright, I'm in the game. And as you can see, when I'm moving the mouse, it moves as well. But it doesn't seem very accurate. For this, you'll need to customize some settings till it's solved. First, go to controls. Now here you can see 4 entries, which has 100% in it. It's kinda like this sensitivity. You can increase it or decrease it as you like. I'm gonna change all these hundreds to 500s. Just double click and go over here to settings. Here it is. Just change it to whatever you want. Everything is 500% now. I'll try the game. Very yeah, well. It's way better. If it's still not good in a game, you can customize that percentage even more and find the most suitable one for you. Alright then, I'll end it here. I hope this was really helpful for you. If it did, I prefer hitting the like button. If you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button as well. I'll see you in the next video.